Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I was due in Nashville, Tennessee, and I have retrieved a wooden axe, a fine specimen. It's not even a wooden axe, it's a wooden hefted iron axe. I have retrieved this axe from the tree farm area up here, because I figure I should probably go explore the little bit that was way down here, that exit from the barracks. And I figure that a lot of the problems in the barracks probably start when you're actually in the barracks. So maybe the exit itself is relatively unguarded. You know, that might be wishful thinking. Oh, I probably wanted that un enchanted bow. Dang it. Okay. So, next problem. Next problem is that there's a bunch of endermen down there. Well, we will endure. This too shall pass. Okay. So without looking at any of the endermen... We're going to kill this spider by knocking him off the edge. Where is he? By this spider. Okay, great. Now, we're going to hack away at this. And let's see what we got in here. Oh, that's probably going to be spider spawners. Oh, I already don't like this room. This room is not fun. Um. Okay. So, maybe this was the acme of foolishness. Okay, there's a creeper there. Yeah, okay. Whoa, that's a cloud. Um, okay, new plan. New plan. Without looking at the Enderman, we are going to hop back out of here and maybe try and find another way to explore this area of the map without dropping lava on our head by digging upward into a lava pool. Okay, so maybe what I'm going to have to do is cut back around here after all. Dang it, it seems like... Okay, so if I would come up into this chamber here from all three sides, then whatever lies beyond would be pretty obvious. So this takes me to Skylight B. Oh, well, Skylight B is pretty cool. Or wait, no. What was the Skylight A must have been? Yeah, Skylight A. Okay, so this is pretty neat. Got these double pillars here all the way. Got stairs here. This says, don't look down. wonder if there's going to be a bunch of Endermen there or something. I'm probably not intended to jump off that, so let's not, in fact, do that. And that just goes up to there. Oh, man. Okay, so this place is massive. Vetch has really outdid himself in terms of scale on this map. I will say that. Okay. So if I'm coming through here, and I've passed, I passed the tree farm area on that side, then the only thing left to do, I think, is going to be to figure out where that skeleton is coming from and kill him. Where is he? Skeleton? Where is he? I am displeased by your continued afterlife. Cease and desist. Away with you. Okay, into the flame. Okay, into the fire and the flame. Worst skeleton ever. Now I have to waste an era. Now I have to waste a second era. Oh my goodness, is this going to be a three era skeleton? Well, now I'm just mad. Now I am just displeased indeed. Okay. Great, so that left me all sorts of errors left over for this creeper here. Because that's a good use of my time. Okay, so we will clear out this creeper and spider here. And begin our progress back down here toward whatever lies ahead. Vetches has clearly gone all out to make this a well-lit but insanely dangerous area. And so we will just want to continue moving at post-haste, which is as fast as a mailman goes, or a mail carrier in general, regardless of gender. Okay, so we got some glass here. That's interesting. Where does that go? Oh, well, it goes down to lava. Um, okay. So this here takes us to another skeleton-zombie combination. Okay, okay. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Bad. Why am I getting popped around? Oh, there's two of them. Popped around two of them. Oh, no. Shot to death by skeleton. 
Well, that was indeed unpleasant. Let's see if we can go back and claim our stuff. Let's grab this bed while we're at it, because, you know, that would be a good thing to take with us. Okay. I could probably hop back up here with the most adept adroitness that y'all have ever seen. You would be shocked, simply shocked, to find that I was jumping around in here with such skill and talent. But, alas, not all things come naturally to me, and parkour is indeed one of them that often defies my skill. Um, okay. Oh, I don't have flame bringer this time, so this is going to be a little bit harder. Oh, I've got to go through all this. This is indeed an unpleasant turn of events. It might be an unpleasant burn of events yet, if things go especially poorly. Skylight B to Amanita Cavern. So I'm pretty sure I took Amanita Cavern to the mines last time. Let's just quickly look out here and verify. Okay, so I don't indeed want to go down there out of the void. That is a terrible way to go. And this right here is just a little bit of flame. Okay. So we are getting back on track. Gonna hop down here. Is that that record you guys were yelling at me for not getting? Boom! Joe Hills to the record rescue. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, awesome. Now you guys can all, like, leave me alone about that in the comments. This is the way that I'm not going. Because, you know, massive pit and all that. Okay. So we are just going to continue fleeing this way. Until we uh, escape all of these things that would like to see us dead. We are just going to be ducking and weaving and dodging and bobbing and... I don't know what else bobs and weaves. Um, I don't know. A, a loom. We are going to be looming large. Whoa, that would have been a bad pit to jump into. Okay, so are those wooden bowls? Did I leave any of those in here? Okay, good. So I can quickly assemble a fast meal. This is going to be the fastest fast food y'all have ever seen. Mushroom stewed like it wasn't a thing. I'm really wondering if I'm supposed to, like, knock a hole in here and then push the TNT through it or something. I don't understand what Vetches did with these cards. Maybe he just wants me to have a creeper that, like freaks out or something nearby while I'm getting the food out of the stuff. I don't know. Okay. Hey, wait, what's that up there? That seems to be some sort of guard tower thing. Didn't see that on the first pass. Why don't we make haste to see if that has... Oh, wow, there's some sort of a whole th structure thing up here. Let's see what this means for us. Farm dormitory. Oh, hey, yeah, this is a way better situation for me to be in. I still may only sleep at night, but oh, dude, this is awesome. Okay, so now I've got some real food. Uh, I've got equipment, ender pearls. Goodness gracious, this is this is going to be helpful. Okay, so let's see. We got some bricks here. What do we got back in here? Same basic stuff. Oh, I am kitted out like awesomely now. Okay, this is wonderful. Got an ender pearl, got some soup bowls. I don't want to take everything here with me, because some of this I might regret having taken. I might want to, like, leave some of it as is. I, sh I should really wait until it's daytime, or, well... Like, sleeping in one of these beds would be awesome, but it's still not nighttime. And I don't want to loiter indefinitely. Let's, uh, get a quick look at everything, though, and... We will just add some little sandstone ladders right here, like so. Let's see. So we got some mushrooms over here. Got plenty of little or big mushrooms. Got gravel, sand, which I can cook to make glass. Got plenty of stone brick, which makes this pleasant little fence here. Underneath, there doesn't seem to be anything of particular import or interest. Okay. So, I think that what I'm going to do is time skip to having spent my first night here, because this is too great a place to not actually, um, you know, set up camp. So, tie... Oh, I was going to yell time skip, but hey, next problem.
Okay, um, let's go ahead and also leave this record here and the second sword and some of this other stuff. Wow, that was super handy. I am very pleasantly... I'm pleasantly pleased. I am pleasantly pleasanted. This was a good pit stop. I wish I had noticed this on my first pass through here. Man, all this loot will only grease the wheels of liberty as they grind on toward the resolution of any problems that I am currently experiencing. Okay, so this takes us up to the Amanita Caverns. Nothing of interest over here. Or maybe there is, but... Whoa, I made an Enderman mad. That's only going to go poorly for me. Where's those blocks? What is that noise? Is that the Enderman noise? Is that the Enderman noise now? Come at me, Enderman. Come at me. I'm ready for you. Is he dying inside the wall? Is that what that noise means? Okay. Okay. I will not be afraid. Fear is the mind killer. That noise will not frighten me. Okay. Okay. Enderman noise, you are the worst. So we're just going to calmly and simply proceed onward here. Because what can go... Okay, where is he? Just teleport in front of me so I can kill you. This is, this is clearly the best thing for everybody, Enderman. You don't want to hang out here on top of the roof making creepy noises forever. And I don't want you to hang out on top of the roof making creepy noises forever. Somebody shoot him. Fi skeletons? Somebody. I'm getting really tired of this! Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Boom. Oh, that wasn't so bad. That only took me about eight minutes. Ugh. Okay. So I know if I come down these stairs, I'll eventually see that skeleton there who will be a problem for me. So I will sword smite him like crazy. Whoa. Whoa! Let's, uh, let's flee. Let's flee. That is fleeing time. Golden apple flea in time. Oh, let's not jump in the lava. It is not lava jumping time. Now, I know if I go right, that takes me to those other places. Let's try going left here. How many times does it... Okay, good, he's dead. So, now I am in this wonderful place that is... Full, oh, good, these stairs are covered in lava. There's glass there and some sort of cantilevered device. So let me see if I can, what I can make of that. I guess I can hang out here on this side of the steps and kind of move in parallel to them, hoping that no beasts would be so foul as to push me into the lava there. Oh, hello, a skeleton. I hope you are not going to be so foul as to do precisely that which I have just described. Hey, good, this, this is protected. Awesome. So I will... Whoa! It stops being protected pretty quick. Really quick. Okay. And they're still shooting at me. Yes, indeed. They are still shooting. No creepers up here? And this takes us to the armory. Oh. Ew. Dang it, okay. So, in terms of blocks that we do not have, this is a perfect example of how that is a problem. But, luckily for me, I have precisely enough ladders for this to get absolutely stupid.
Okay, very precise work there. So what's through here? Oh, good. Dark rooms with zombies. Not what I was hoping for. What's up here? Dark rooms with creeper spawners. Okay, trying to click on the, um... Well, at least that took care of the creeper spawner problem. Okay. Dang it. Okay, um... Flak Vest, Paladin's Blade, Dawnbringer. Okay. So let's, um... Hmm, I might need to place a chest real quick. Or something. Oh, I'm gonna have to place a bunch of chests. And, of course... Great, now there are zombies trying to break in. Or break out, I don't even know. Um, get rid of the bones. Now we've got doors here that I don't want. Put the door here. Run through and grab what we can. What do we got? A bunch of sand. Okay, finally a chest. Chests are good. And, uh, what is this? Enchanted Book of Blast Protection and Fire Protection. Oh, those sound nice. Um, I'm gonna regret not having this place lit, aren't I? Stone hoe, bunch of swords, golden armor, extra stuff, wooden sword. Dang it, all you extra loud guys, stop being extra loud. It is infuriating. I've gotta run through and grab all this stuff before it despawns. And you are not helping. Not one bit, not one smidgen. Ugh, okay. So... Wow, diamond helmet. I'm glad I went back and did all that. Okay, so throw these hoes in there. Anything else left lying around? Nope. Okay. So, if this indeed does take me out to here, where is here? No, it doesn't seem to be anything I could enter pearl out to from here that would be helpful. Which is indeed unfortunate. And there's no lights. Oh, wait. Hey, dude. Awesome. I was going to say, unfortunately, there have been no torches in here yet, but 16 coal. Boom. Check that out. Joe Hill's here, lighting everything up like I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. As I like to say, light it up. Where does this go? Skylight C. Huh. Okay, so, maybe I'm not, wait, so is this the barracks then? I'm so lost. Okay, if this goes to Skylight C, then I still need to figure out how to get from the upper mines to whatever's next. You're just gonna torch that gently. Cool. This is good to know, though, that there's all this equipment and stuff up here. So I can drag a lot of this uh, back out with me. Oh, hey, you are a spider. Be dead, spider. Be dead. Are there any spawners in here? Thankfully, no. Bunch of other stuff, though. Great. Let's see what we got over here. Any spawners in here? Combat supplies low. Oh, good for me. I got this little pick. So I can just tap that real quick. Awesome. Dude, this is my favorite area of the map already. I'm loving this. Thank you, Vitches, for providing. You are an excellent provider. You are an inspiration to me as I prepare to provide for my family. I want them to live this well. That's a creeper. That's a skeleton. Bye, skeleton. You are now dead. Wait, so if I go up here, though... Okay, so this is that room that was ruined. Okay. Do I want to make my base up in here? I probably shouldn't. Do we want to get the flak vest or the paladin's blade? Paladin's blade will be helpful. So, boom. Now I've got two iron swords... I am so set. This is going to be great. So let's throw these extra enchantment books and leathers 
wooden swords. So this one's smite three, this one's normal. Okay, so we got our normal sword, a smite three sword. We are going to be able to really tear it up once I dump some more of this other stuff back in here. This is... Maybe I should move my bed into here. Uh, nah. Well, uh, let's... There's so many decisions in a map like this. Oh, wait. Let's put the diamond helmet on. There we go. And leave some of this other stuff here. And once I kind of get a better sense of the overall layout of the map, I'll start consolidating all my stuff. But for right now, I feel like this is a pretty good situation to be in. We are doing fairly well overall. Okay, extra books, extra cakes, extra signs. Wonderful. And any of these, this armor here particularly? Feather Fallen and... Un okay, yeah, we're putting that on. And projectile projection. Yeah, that's that's going in there. Okay. Okay, here we go. Will they actually break through that? I think they will. Oh, I should be using the smite sword. Whoa, that's a lot of creepers. Not going in there yet. We can come back later for that. Let's uh, go ahead and fix this up a little. Just so we don't have to worry about that crazy, insane ladder thing in the future. Okay, so armory's this way. Any skeletons going to shoot us down? Don't think so. We can just hop down this way here. Yep, they're already coming for us. Okay. So we're going to have to make a mad dash for it. Luckily, there's no one madder than me, by which I mean angry. I am infuriated at all the spiders. Who has let this place go to seed? It is indeed Vetches, the spider haver. Okay, so if we continue up this way here, is this the way I came? Please tell me this is not the way I came. Vetches, I gotta figure out my way out of here sooner or later. You can't just have me running around in circles all day. Okay, so this is where I just died. There's a creeper. Let's, uh, let's take care of him. Oh, better. Better take care of him better than that. Okay. So this is where I just died, so let's run through here and pick all that up. Can I get that Firebringer thing? That was a pretty good, uh, unbreaking thing. And some of this stuff is just, cr just, uh, not very helpful at all. Um, dang it. Whoa, running! Okay, so let's assume that nothing left over there is any good at this point. Let's let's eat that. Let's recover some health. Place that there like so. Okay, so that creeper probably blew up my good uh, flame burner thing. Well, although I think every one of the skylights was supposed to have a flame bringer, so I'll probably find one eventually if I carry on into the other skylights on my own time. So let's see, what is this here? This goes upward, which might be taken as a positive sign, or at least a positive altitude. Is this the way I came? Yeah, those stairs look a lot like the ones I came down. Oh, you're kidding me. Yep, this is where I came in. Dang it! Okay, continuing onward. Got our torches all in one place now, which will make them easier to lay. Huh. Okay, so, let's see. We know it's not through the armory. We know it's not through the tree farm. Okay, so this took me out to the armory. Which, let's uh, quickly put some torches here, so that doesn't happen. So that doesn't happen twice. That was why I was going to put torches there. 
It's going to put torches there for that contingency to avoid that happening. Vetches has provided us with so much stuff around here that we just can't be free of the creeping beasts. It is impossible to light all this up with the materials we have been given. Dang it, Vetches. Clearly that was a Zisto frustrating move. Intended as one anyway. Okay, so if I go down there and through... Where does that take me? Is that just to the... Tr is that the tree farm entrance? By the time I'm done with this, I will know this area like the back of your hand. And yes, I mean you, because that's creepy. And you're supposed to be scared right now. This is incredibly terrifying. Okay. So, yeah. So I think the tree farm entrance was up in that way. So if I... Get rid of that. Let's eat a steak. That'll hold longer. Okay. I could technically waste an ender pearl just topping down here, but let's not waste any ender pearls until we know that we're not going to need them to, you know, quickly escape certain death otherwise. Yeah, see, this has all these uh, glowstones on it, so that looks important. Creeper over there. That is going to be obnoxious because that's directly above where I need to be. Okay, so what is this? This does look important indeed. No signs or anything. Thank you, Vetches. That would have been nice. Let's just add some light there. Uh-oh. Several signs here. I hope you've gotten yourself reasonably established. It gets tougher from here. These mines have long since been abandoned. They are also mostly mined out. No ores left for you. Such a shammy. A chamois, for those of you guys who don't know, is a type of cloth that can be used to absorb large amounts of liquid. All alone down here. Well, just you and the monsters. And all the nice presents I left for you. This floor here looks scary, but it's 100% safe. You can trust me. Oh, hey. What's this? Speed potions. Oh, dude, is this like Rule 8 reminder? You may not pick up, move, or craft ender chests. So is this like the, the um, what is this? Saurian sign-off shelter. Okay, so if your pulse soars, you can hang out in there and sign off and sign back in safely. So I'm guessing this is my base here? I'm going to have to check out what's up on top of this. Anything? I'm probably just going to dump lava on my head being an idiot. But that does look important up there. So let's uh, see what Vitches has left us up this way. No, just more lava. It's just lighting, it looks like. Okay, that's good. So we got a sign-off shelter over here. Yeah, this this is terrifying, Vitches. Don't, don't make floors like this ever again. That goes back to the upper mines. This one goes to the lower mines. Everforge and Outer Darkness. Okay, well, we have reached intersection one, and Vetches has at least provided us with a speed potion, a furnace, and a place to sleep. No, not a place to sleep. I'm going to have to go get a bed. Dang it. Such a weird thing. I don't know, Paul. I don't know. This is... I guess if this works for you, that's fine, but not sure that it's for me. Anyway, I guess my next video, I'm going to start off with an intersection one tour. And just kind of quickly poke around through here and ascertain the nature of these different places. Like this one seems to be a maze. And I'll look at the other ones too. So there's your cliffhanger. Who knows what lies in the hearts of men and beyond intersection one. I mean this Everforge place, this could have train tracks. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. That that means these areas are massive. And, well, you know what? We're already... No, this is the Everforge. What was that? That was the Outer Darkness. So, Everforge. And goodbye, guys. Whoa! No, 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 no. Yeah, that was almost bad. So, anyway, there's your quick intersection one tour. I'm going to sign off, and I almost ran into there instead of here. I'm going to give this a try. Paul, if I don't like it, next time I see you at PAX, I'm going to have to complain loudly. Uh, 
kind of claustrophobic, don't you think? Anyway, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring. <laughs>